quite a lot of stuff. There we go. Whew. All right. Hello dear friends, I am Corey and welcome to this new video unboxing. A very special video unboxing because this is the Thanit first and only unboxing. If you remember a little while ago, Games Workshop announced the new Thanit first and only plastic miniature kit. If you remember like two, three years ago, they actually sold the miniature kit, which were made out of pewter. I managed to buy those miniature at the time and then they went out of stock and now we finally have the new Thanit first and only completely made out of plastic and of course I couldn't avoid to buy that and also with the miniatures they also announced that there are going to be new books and where they were limited edition too there were the the Sabbath World Crusade and also the Vincula Insurgency which is the continuation of the story that we have read so far and well, after I laid my eyes on the limited edition of the books, I couldn't resist and I absolutely had to buy them. And yes, I managed to buy both of the limited edition, the books, the miniatures and also the bookmark because why the hell not I have already spent like 300 euros in books and miniatures 15 euros more are not going to make a difference at all to me because well, I am already broke. So I mean, even more broke, I guess it's not going to make a difference at all. But anyway, they came into my mail just today and so of course we are going to unbox it and we are going to see how the limited edition are made and, on, and also the miniatures and well, we already know everything about it, but well, let's just unbox the thing and let's see how they present themselves after I put them out of the box. So without further ado, let's go to the table and open up the Tanit first and only books and miniatures. All right, I'll be table, stuff to open, trusty knife ready, let's go. Okay, let's start with the most boring part, which is this, the uh, bookmark, the Ibram, Ibram Gaunt bookmark. It cost me 15 euros, uh, translated to, I guess, some dollars and some pounds. You do the math, all right? I'm not good at math. But let's just open this stuff. Let's see how it is. I bought it because, well, it was, well, it was, it wasn't cheap for a bookmark, but at least it is kind of cool to me. I wonder if this piece is completely made out of cardboard or it's all metal or maybe plastic i don't know oh so it slides away like so and here we have the bookmark oh no okay is flexible and okay there is a plastic okay yeah it's plastic now this is i think metal or yeah yes this is metal and this part here is plastic and all of the red uh, lettering that you see here are printed on a transparent plastic sheet and then there is the green plastic uh, sheets right beneath it. I guess, I don't know why they have done this. I mean, what is the purpose of just splitting in two this bookmark here maybe if you maybe if you want to bookmark multiple pages but what if you are going to let's just say that you have started from maybe you want to a bookmark on chapter two and then you want to bookmark chapter i don't know 15. you are going to break this stuff i mean it's made out of plastic it, if it was made like i don't know in maybe tissue or something maybe it would be more useful but this this is plastic you're going to ruin this i don't understand why they had to split this in two but well it's uh it's kind of cool i mean not not absolutely worth 15 euros uh if you're going to use this as a bookmark i'm going to use it as a very nice display piece inside the box because that's that's all it is in my opinion so let's just put this right inside the box and let's go to the most interesting part which are the miniatures 
and the miniature as well. Everybody already unboxed this, and there are also people on Instagram that, that have already painted these miniatures. Uh, but well, I have I have bought this. I might as well just open it. Let's see how the miniatures are. How the miniatures looks inside. So we have. All right. Now here we have the instruction manual uh, with, okay, on how to assemble all all the miniatures inside. Man, this is going to be painful to paint if you are going to put these miniature the miniatures all together. I was looking for some very nice cool sub assemblies, but now the more time passed, the more the miniatures of Game Workshop are going to be very very hard to paint if you're going to painting in painting them in sub assemblies but well these are all the miniatures how you assemble them and these are the statistics for the miniatures that you see here and uh, well yeah every every single model have his own statistic his own rules i think this is going to be incredibly fun to use on the tabletop and here we have the sprue now it's a single sprue with all of the pieces that you need to paint the the gaunt's ghost and ibrahim gaunt in himself now i have to tell you that this last gun here is the most coolest one that i could possibly see i love the design of this type of last gun it is my favorite uh, with the um Death Corp of Kriegs last gun. I really love this. Uh, the, the bayonet, the the wooden uh, part here in the back, I don't know how to call it in English, but you know what I'm talking about is this part right here. Very cool. I also love the details on the K with all these uh, straps around the, the camo clocks here. Really cool. Uh, well, can't wait to assemble them and also paint them. I also have to do a, a new painting tutorial because if you go look way back in my channel, I have already posted a uh, two videos of the Gaunt's Ghost. The first one is how to convert a Catechan Guardsman to make it look like a Tanit first and only Guardsman. And the second one, I've made a painting tutorial on how to paint them. And well, I'm going to do a painting tutorial of this of course, because, well, the, the, the scheme of the camo clock and of the miniature is com changed a little bit, so I will have to do a new one. Can't wait to do that. And also here we have the base, which are in this reusable plastic bag. Finally, Games Workshop, use this for every freaking miniatures that you are going to sell because these bags are incredibly useful. I have a bag full of these and I, I really need this. Just just put as, as more as you can, please. These bags are amazing. All right, now let's go to the fun part, which are uh, the books. Now, this, these two books are the limited edition. This number that you see here, I guess this is the number associated with this print. So this is number 343 out of not so many because they have run out of stock basically after 10 minutes they have put them on the on pre-order. So I believe this is going to be the Vincula Insurgency, judging by the size of the box. Well, let's go and take a look inside. All right. Now you can you, you already see that this is a premium. Yeah, this is the Vincula Insurgency. You, this is a premium kind of kind of book because well, this is the black wrap with the Tanit stickers on it. Hopefully, I'm not going to break the sticker and the black paper wrap. Good, yeah, good job. There we go. Amazing. Now, let me just pull this out of here so that we can take a better look of it. All right. Now, this is the packaging. You open it up and you have this nice uh, fake leather. I hope it is fake leather, actually. I, I hope. I'm not very a fan of real leather. Let's hope this is fake. And, well, there are two magnets here, which is cool. And you open it up, 
and you have all of the stuff inside. So, more stuff to pull out of other stuff. Great. I don't have space here. Let's put this aside now. What these are, okay, this is a card with all of the statistics for the Gaunt's Ghost. Why they have put it here in the books and not into the miniatures uh, box set? I don't know. This is stupid. You should have put this into the miniature box set. Why put it here in the limited edition box? I, I don't know if also are they going to put this also in not in the not limited in the normal edition of the book? I hope so because this is incredibly useful. Uh, I don't know. This is kind of stupid. Why why they had put it here? I don't know. Oh, we have two books. This is the document must not fall into author unauthorized hand. All right, Vincula Insurgency Ghost Dossier 1. Nice, nice logo of the Tanith first and only for Tanith for the Emperor written by Dan Abnett. And it also, yeah, is also signed by Dan, Ab by Dan Abnett. Cool. Uh, yeah, okay, we have also the number here. This is number 343 out of 1750. Amazing. We have a nice, nice artwork here of Gaunt and some of the soldier. And well, this is the book itself. I'm going to absolutely read this. I'm going to read this when I'm going to have the time to do that. So this is the first book. This is another book, which is is this? Yeah, it's it's glued to this, and this is okay. Maps, symbology, and regimental emblems. Uh, whoa! Okay, <laughs> there is a lot of stuff inside here. Okay. Oh, well, cool. Vincula city map. This is going to help you while reading. This document must not fall under authorities. I have tactical map. Okay. This is the map in which the story is is going to take place. Now this is cool because well it will it will enhance your immersion while reading the story and also this is going to be amazing if you are going to have kind of a narrative campaign maybe uh, on the uh, same city that the Thanet are fighting I guess uh, this is this is pretty cool I I would love to see some battle, battle reports using this kind of map to kind of develop a narrative campaign this is what this would be really nice this is pretty pretty cool <coughs> Magna Cartorum Thanet fake Latin uh, since I'm Italian I know Latin no, I no, I'm joking. I'm, I I don't freaking know Latins. Who knows Latin? Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> okay, let's go. Also known as the Way of the Woodward. Date unknown, but probably circa 500 uh, millennium 41. Original, no. Now lost. What is this? Oh, cool. This is amazing. This is a map of the planet Thanet. Amaz I love this. I absolutely love this. And this is also, well, I love the style of the map. It looks like a very old, very, very old map from like, uh, I don't know, 16th century. Uh, I don't know history, but well, it looks old and it is amazing. Now this, this is cool. I didn't really know how, th is this maybe the first time that we actually have a map of the planet Thanet? I don't know, but well, it is the first time for me, and this is amazing. Pretty, pretty cool. And what we have here, an explanation of traditional Tanit Sabbath word symbology with reference to regimental emblem derivation. Cool. The, these are the tattoos that the Thanit have on their bodies. The Thanit Magna, the Thanit Attica, the Long Barrow, Null Wood, amazing. And also, and these are all I think other tattoo or well these are the regimental emblems amazing this will help you uh, while if you want to paint a Tanit first and only uh, Imperial Guard army this is going to be incredibly helpful because this will help you characterize even more your guardsmen freehanding this stuff is going to be painful 
but maybe you can, I don't know, maybe you can actually scan this paper and work a little bit with Photoshop and you can print your decals with it. Who knows, I will maybe try this if I am ever going to create a Tanit first and only army, which I think I'm never going to do that because I'm tired of painting Garzman, but we'll see, maybe in the future. And also we have this, uh, this metal box here, Ordnance K10 AP Top Towards Target. Let's see what's inside. A postcard. I, I love this thing. They are incredibly useless, but cool to have. Here we have a... All right, okay, some stuff. A letter uh, from Charles Feriak, Trooper 34th Company, Lutus Battlefield Regimental Unit. Uh, this is a letter, well, uh, pretty, pretty nice. Put it like here, stop the video and read it if you want. I'm going to read it later. And okay, we have a patch with Tanit First Scout Recon, which is going here, and some coins. Love this. I love my coins. We have a silver one and two bronze one, which I guess they are... No, they are not the same. They are the same on this side, but they are different on the other side. Uh, cool, you can, I will surely use this as some, maybe, um, some kind of tokens for my, for my games. And also we have this pin, uh, of the Tanit, uh, first and only for Tanit for the Ember. This is the Tanit emblem here. Pretty cool. Is there more stuff underneath this, uh, sponge thing? Now, I don't think any, there's anything else. Like, Let's just leave it like here before I broke before I break something. Okay, let me put everything back together and then we can go through the other book, which is going to be the Sabbath World Crusade Special Edition. Oh god, this is even heavier than the last one. Okay. Woo! Alright. This must be the Sabbath World Crusade number 101. Even lower. Let's open this box and let's see how it how it looks inside. All right, same black uh, paper wrap with the sticker on it. Let's just get this out. Let's put the box away. Oopsie. All right. Let's try not to ruin the sticker and the paper wrap again. I have to use my my skills here. My very my very delicate fingers. All right. Whoa. <laughs> this is this is incredibly amazing. Wow. Okay, money well spent. 10 out of 10 would go broke again. Amazing. I love this. Sub work this this is amazing. This is a um, oh, I don't have words to actually explain to you how much how much joy I'm feeling right now. <laughs> okay, this is the Sabbath World Crusade limited edition with this metal. Okay, let's see how to open this thing. I guess we are going to open it this way. Yes, also magnets here. Oh, this is okay, 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 cool. This is the book actually. All right, let's start with the book here. And well, the book here is whoa, whoa, whoa! All right, all right. <laughs> there is so much stuff. Let me, let me just, let me just have some more space here. Let, we are going to take a look at the book uh, a little bit later. Let's just look what's inside here because I need space for the book. Let's see what's inside the box. Okay, first of all, this is classified, and of course we are going to open it. Why not? Even more tokens scatter around. The limited box, we are going to see that later. Let's just open this. Let's see what's inside. I guess even more bigger postcard. Yes, this is a a picture of Ibrahim Gaunt. Hey, okay, pretty cool. Let's just put this back inside this uh, classified uh, blister, which is already falling apart. Okay, I'm not okay. I'm not going to put this back here. It's it's broken itself here on the side. Let's just keep it. Let's just keep it like 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 it is right now. And 
I'll just leave it there. And then we have some huge coins, which I think this can be used as objective marker. Yes, because we have third. Oh no, okay, this represent all of the regiment in the story. So we have the uh, third dragoons, the Vol the Volpone. Here we have okay. This is the same image that we have in the front of in front of the book, and also we have the uh, insignia of the Tanit first, and this is oh okay the Rohan Deepers. Cool. I'm going to use this as objective markers, a very fancy objective objective markers, of course. But well, I think that there is no more uh, else. Uh, there is no other way to use them. Okay, now let's take a look at the book. Here we have the book. I need more space for this. Let's open it up and let's see. Also signed by Dan Abnett, and this is 101 out of one un, uh, out of 1,500 books. This is the same image that we saw on the postcard. Okay, uh, cool. I think yeah, this is basically a a um, guide to the Tanit first and only. With this you have all of the character data sheets with their history, their past, their everything that we know so far about them. This is an entire summary of what we had seen, what we have, what we have read in the other books. The Regiment of Renown. I, I, I love this. I really love this. All of this stuff. This is going to take me weeks to read completely and to understand everything. But, well, the Lost Wars. Yeah, this is a summary of everything that happens, I think. Return of the Saint. Oh, cool. These are all of the paint scheme for your Lehman Russes. Also for your uh, Thunderbolt fighter, the Lightning Interceptor. Cool, cool. Oh, this is so amazing! If you are a painter, we are going to, you're going to love this. Cool stuff. Very cool stuff. These are the Chaos um, enemies. Some Xenos. Horrible stuff. Cool. Cool. I, I absolutely love this. Uh, this will also help uh, painters around the world if they want to recreate something revolving around the Sabbath World Crusade. Amazing stuff. Really amazing stuff. Uh, absolutely worth all the money that I have spent. I couldn't be happier. Uh, everything here was amazing, except the bookmark. The bookmark is uh, worthless I guess but everything else was amazing absolutely thank you very much my friend this is the end of the video I hope you liked it if you did well leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from me and also leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the new miniatures for the tiny first and only and also the books if you have already read something from the books I'm going to do this surely in the next days I hope and uh, well let me know down in the comment what you think also down in the description you will find a link to my Instagram account if you want to follow me there I will really appreciate that so in the meantime I hope to see you in the next video goodbye my friends I'm Corey